Good evening and welcome to the closing worship service. Oh man, here we are, God's people gathering together as one. Um, I know sometimes church music can feel really structured, but I want us, I want us to be open and free, to leave space for the Holy Spirit because it is written in the scriptures that you can only worship God in spirit and truth. And so tonight we are going to sing or sit with one voice in unity, red and yellow, black and white, together as one family. Some of these songs might be new and it's okay. Just let the words wash over you. Be refreshed and be renewed. And Lord, create in us a new spirit. Order our steps. Guide tonight. Thank you guys for being here.
Satisfy. Listen, listen to me and eat what is good, and you will delight in the richest affair. Give ear and come to me, listen that you may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, my faithful love promised to David. See, I have made him a witness to the people, and a ruler and commander of the peoples. Surely you will summon nations you know not, and nations you do not know will come running to you because of the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel, for he has endowed you with splendor. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord and he will have mercy on them and to our God, for he will freely pardon. 
For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return to it without watering the earth, and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater, so with my word that goes forth from my mouth, it will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thorn brush will grow the juniper, and instead of briars the myrtle will grow. This will be for the Lord's renown, for an everlasting sign that will endure forever. This is the word of the Lord. Jesus says that we are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. We hold the light of Yahweh, the creator, in us. We are to be a guidepost for those who have lost their way. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So we go out and we rejoice knowing that it is not a reliance upon our strength, but the strength of the creator, Yahweh, above. So we're going to sing, We Shall Make a Name for the Lord.
section is going to be a little different. We are going to pray together as one and we are going to meditate on the scriptures. We are going to meditate on the words of people who have encounters with Yahweh. This song is called Prayers of the People. so that we, when we do our good works, that we do them through you and because of who we are in you. We ask that the focus not be on us, but on who you are and who you have called us to be. Let us meditate on the words from scripture. Now God has us where he wants us. With all the time in the world and the nets to shower grace and kindness upon us in Christ Jesus. Saving is all his idea and all his work. All we do is trust him to do it. It's God's gift from start to finish, and we don't play the major role. If we did, we'd probably go around bragging that we had done the whole thing. No, we neither make nor save ourselves. God is both the making and the saving. He creates each of us by Christ Jesus to join him in the work he does. The good work he has gotten ready for us to do, work we had better be doing. Lord have mercy. 
faithful when you send us to bear the love of Christ in action, and may we be bold when you move us to speak the gospel to the lost. Meditate on these words of life. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. 1 Peter 5.10 You hear us calling, you hear us calling, our Father. You hear us calling, you hear us calling, our Father. Let's sing that again. You hear us calling, you hear us calling, our Father. You. as we play the intro of this next song. To take in a deep breath and exhale. That breath is not our own, but a gift from the maker, the creator, the God who is with us, who is near and not far away who will draw near to us if we draw near to him, who sees us and hears us and reminds us that the pain is temporary, the racism is temporary, the segregation is temporary, the doubt is temporary, the loss, the shame, the guilt, the disappointment is temporary. Jesus did not come here to condemn us, to point a finger and say, aha, you broken, broken being. But he came here to save us and to provide a hope. And we are not in this alone. We need one another. Thank you. 
darkness was our guide Without hope and home and night We're the call and turn to you Now the veil has been removed Jesus we will throw in your truth Jesus you're so Yeah. 
this is overthrown. Help us to make you know.
dismantling our impasse till each one of us is free. Your peace will make us one. Receive these words of blessing. And now may you go out with joy. May you be led forth in peace. May you cling to the one who is our peace, the one in whom we are one. People of God, do not be afraid. The Lord is near. Therefore, in everything, with prayer and petition and thanksgiving, Make your requests be known unto God. And therefore, may the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen.